A grim-faced Rod Blagojevich left the Chicago courtroom after being convicted on a wide range of corruption charges. Among them, the accusation that he tried to sell the Senate seat that once belonged to President Barack Obama. Patty and I obviously are very disappointed uh, in the outcome. I frankly am, am stunned. The former governor of Illinois now faces the same fate as his predecessor, prison. This is a bittersweet moment. Five years ago, another jury sent a, another message uh, that cor uh, corruption in Illinois is, is not tolerable. Uh, governor Blagojevich did not get that message. We know that there's a lot of bargaining that goes on behind the scenes. We do that in our everyday lives and business and everything. But I think in this instance when it is someone representing the people, it crosses the line. Uh, and I think we sent a pretty clear message on that. The decision capped a long-running spectacle in which Blagojevich became famous for one particular recorded phone call. He said that his ability to appoint Obama's successor to the Senate was expletive golden and that he wouldn't let it go for expletive nothing. We felt that it was very clear that he was trying to make a trade for the Senate seat. This was the second time Blagojevich faced trial. The first time a jury convicted him of only the least serious of 24 charges. Prosecutors streamlined their case and went back to court. Blagojevich faces up to 300 years in prison, but would likely see much less actual time behind bars. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.